Now we're getting to the part where I get to solder the plug panel together. But before I solder it together, I gotta tape all the edges. And I gotta tape my eyes. The eyes are gonna be soldered onto the glass. And they're gonna be soldered in a way that it's gonna kind of form the eye lining. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plug turns out with those eyes. Now here you notice that there's some pieces missing around the nose. Also the ear on the right that's totally black. There's some pieces that need to be redone. There's actually supposed to be some white wisps like you see on this ear, on that ear. And I did it upside down. <laughs> so I've got to recut that. There's also a piece that's a little bit short. So I got to recut that. Now I'm out of that sheet. I ordered the black when I ordered the rest of the glass, but it was on back order by my supplier. So I have to wait till that black glass comes in, and then I can recut those pieces, and I'll have a nice dog to solder together. So I'm at a standstill right now. As soon as that black piece comes in, I'll be able to do those uh, pieces, and then I'll be able to finish up. Okay, so you can see that my pieces have come in. Now I need to square it, and then I need to tape the rest of it, then I can start soldering. Okay, so now he's cleaned up. He's looking pretty good. But now what we need to do is color color the solder lines. We can color black and copper. Color copper. We could do a blackish copper. I think in this case, all black would be a good idea. So what we do is we pour the black on. And you see how it's turning the lines black. Now, solder over time will turn itself black. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm speeding up, picking up the pace. And over time, it will turn black unevenly. So by doing this, I'm getting a good uniform coat. And this is gonna look better than waiting for time to do it itself. Okay, so you can see the black did very well. I got it washed off. And now what I need to do is I need to polish. I want these lines to shine more than they're shining now. Right now they're kind of dull. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put some liquid polish on it. You can use a car polish, not the cream. I would use the liquid. And you can get this squirt on the glass. Don't worry about the glass. It polishes glass really nicely too. And you just apply it to all the solder areas. And then you're gonna leave this on here for about five minutes. It's still gonna be wet when you come back. That's okay. You can even leave it on for just three minutes. The point is that you're gonna come back and you're gonna buff this out, and this is gonna reveal a very nice shine to the solder, which is what you want. You shouldn't have to do that very often. I polish my lines maybe once a year, once every other year. It, it, really, it really depends on how shiny you wanna keep it, and how much work you want to put into it and whether or not you care if the lines are shiny. Most people do. They like shiny things. So then after three to five minutes, take an old t-shirt, nothing fancy, and just buff it. You don't even have to apply pressure. Just move it to and fro over the whole panel. Get the glass too because you got it on the glass and it'll polish the glass up real nice. Even the eyes. The eyes are fine. So now you here you have a dog with very nice shiny solder lines. So now here he is, he's finished, he's ready for his owner to take him home. So that is all for the pug, it's finished, it's ready to go, and if you would like a custom order from me, whether it's a domestic pet, whether it's a wild animal, anything animal, 
come to me. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you have in mind. And I'll see what I can do to create a pattern for you and get this out the door so that you can enjoy it.